Welcome to my walk around Western Heights. This is where the gun emplacements are that were used in the war. It's where they could overlook and see the Germans coming towards us. So I'm heading there now. I keep watching. As you can see, the pathway is covered in mesh. It's a pain in winter because it's all muddy and slushy, but it can, it's good for a safety point for you because you can't slip. So here we come to the first gun emplacement. As you can see in the middle, you'll see in a second, that's where the gun used to be. All the steps down there and up there lead to magazines where there are an endless supply of bullets. So there's lots of graffiti, well it has been many years. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, the views are just phenomenal. I mean, I wonder what the views were like in them days. So here we come to the second gun emplacement. So identical to the first one, apart from more graffiti and more ruined. <laughs> Thanks to the weather and people. So views again, a better view this time. You can see the port, you can see the marina being built. And yeah, mad view. Just imagine the planes coming over and spotting them. That'd be phenomenal. You can just about see Dover Castle in the background, right, in the, right there in the middle of the screen, on top of the hill. This is an action camera, so I can't zoom in. But yeah. This is amazing on a nice clear blue sky day. It's in the summer. You could sit there for hours and just watch the ferries go by. Amazing. So this is the third gun placement, even more graffiti, but as you can see in the middle there, someone's been having a bonfire where the gun used to be. So it must be quite nice there with a bonfire watching the views, but it's not, looks like it's not been lit, so I don't know. So now this is behind the gun emplacements. This buildings, these buildings here used to hold all the bullets, magazine bullets, and lots of soldiers running around, making sure the guns were were fully loaded. These steps, uh, the steps up there lead to where we just come from. These are the where the, the stall storage areas. Some are locked, some aren't locked. So I do look into some of the buildings best I can but I don't go into them, well, in, can't go into the locked ones, I should say. There's also a tunnel, which I'll show you in a minute. So, let's keep walking around. This is also where they used to climb up. There also used to be a bridge that went from the building to the woods, which is now not there now. But that was used to, to go across. I think that's where the bridge was. That's just to go across shortcuts to other buildings behind the properties, which I haven't seen yet. So yeah, so this is where they used to keep all the stuff. There were signs, English heritage signs everywhere, but they've been vandalised, so I couldn't read much. That's where the bridge used to be, not the top there. Um, so it's uh, 
tricky to know half the history. I've been googling it to find out. I'm not a historian. I'm just. Uh, and this was also heading towards a tunnel, which were led to other parts. I don't know specifically. If you know, you can comment below. Oh yeah, it's a bit creepy in there. It really looks like you could do some ghost haunting in there, haunting in there. I don't know. <laughs> don't know if anyone has or not. If you know of it, comment below. I mean, these buildings here are open to go into, but it's like one room, so I decided to go in. Excuse the red light on the screen, it's the action cam when it gets dark. You just see a red light going down the screen. So, excuse that. But yeah, I definitely feel like an um, explorer in this one. <laughs> Even though that's all you get is one little room. There are other rooms as well, which I look into as well. But. I think this one was the creepiest one, this one looks like there's been a few people sleeping under here at night times, but yeah, it's, uh, imagine the history, just being there in the war, I mean, wow, I mean, there'd be bullets galore there, I suppose, wouldn't there, magazines for the guns, you know, be mad. Well, that's mainly it. I mean, I, I should really research more, but as I said, most of the signs there telling what these places are have been demolished. There are other YouTubers have been walking around here as well. But yeah, I just find it's very fascinating, just just amazing what would have gone on in this. The people that have been through there. Anyway, if you like this. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and comment below if you've been a hill. Thank you.